Virtually all of us carry cell phones. It's a phenomenon that I have seen in all of my travels all around the world. And even though industry says that cell phones are safe, and perhaps they are, but I must admit I'm highly skeptical. There are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff out on the internet that claims that cell phones are not safe, that uh, basically two out of three men who carry their cell phone in their pockets, they have damaged sperm. So the question simply becomes, are cell phones safe? And right now, there simply may not be enough long-term scientific evidence to prove that one way or another. But in all of my years, I have kind of learned and come to the conclusion that the more you move away from what is natural and what is in nature, the more detrimental it becomes to our health in both mind, body, and spirit. But I want to show you what I've done, what I've uh, I've instructed all of my children to do. I have four boys uh, and my wife. I have boys ranging from the age of 19 to 10, and three out of the four have cell phones. My wife has a cell phone. I have a cell phone. And I do believe that cell phone radiation over an extended period of time is going to cause some effects, and those effects are not going to be good. So what I did is this. First of all, I want to show you the actual demonstration of cell phone RF and how you can greatly minimize it. Now this is a, it's a meter called a cell sensor, bought it off of Amazon. I'll put the link on the video. It's a very inexpensive meter. This is not a lab grade meter. What it does is basically kind of measure, measures the RF frequency or the RF signal uh, in, a, in a very basic way that comes from a cell phone. So I want to kind of show you basically just an actual demonstration of a cell phone. You just turn the meter on. When you turn it on, it kind of calibrates and, and registers. And I'll put it here. This is the box that it came in. And I'm going to put a, my cell phone here. This is a Droid Turbo 2. Um, and as you can see from the meter, uh, you, it, it allows you to hear it more than anything else. It actually is not registering very much at all. Um, so the cell phone in its dormant state or not receiving a call doesn't really put out a whole lot of, of energy if it's not talking, not transmitting data. Now sometimes it may send a burst because maybe it just transmit data as, as it does there. So in the background you have, and if you can see the the meter is deflecting here all the way into the, the sensor is actually here, so it's kind of difficult for me to get that on the camera, but uh, it basically deflects all the way over into the red whenever it starts transmitting. Now, I'm going to ask the cameraman if he would just call my phone, and uh, it's a big difference once you actually start talking on the phone in terms of uh, let me answer this phone is now in the active mode and you have to put the sensor here and once in the active mode you can begin to see the difference in the let me see if I can somehow this is a sensor Now normally they're both should be on a horizontal surface but you can't see the meter if I do that so the cell phone would normally be against your body against your head and as you can see, it uh, it's actually transmitting now. So the phone is actually on, and you can see it deflects all the way over into the, now this is the back of the phone where the antenna is, and you can see during transmission, I'm talking so the mic is picking up, this is all the way over. I'll turn it around to the front, and if you notice that on the front portion, the radiation has drastically decreased. It does pop up every now and then, but the back is much greater than the front. Now this tells you one thing, whenever you carry your cell phone in your pocket, you should always carry it with the screen facing your body. When you turn it around this way, as you can see the radiation or the RF frequency is much higher if it's facing the back of the phone. So whenever you carry the phone in your pocket, you want to always carry it where the screen 
faces your body. Big difference. Notice, so that's the first tip. Just that alone could possibly prevent some damage to your internal organs or cancer or whatever the case may be. Notice the big difference between that and this. Now, when it starts to talk and, and transmit as a different level. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is this. These are two basic, now you notice it's, it's kind of transmitting heavy as it sits here, but these are two devices. One of them is a, a shield that is a stick-on shield that you place inside of your pants pocket. The other is a piece of actually metal um, embedded cloth. Both of these block radiation. Now I'll take this for example. You hear it now as it's going off. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to have to actually block it there. So the whole thing is blocked. And you can't see the meter, but the meter is virtually doing nothing. It's virtually at zero. And now it's about halfway up. Now it goes to full here virtually goes to zero. This claims to block 99% of RF emission from a phone. I really need to bring the camera over where you can see it, but it's, uh, if you do that, it's, you got to be up where you can get to the sensor. And unfortunately, the angle of it blocks where you can see the, but you see that's, that's basically fully deflected. You do that and it blocks it to where it's virtually nothing there. The same thing happens with this. This is a cloth. Now the, the advantage of the cloth, and actually you'd want to put that this way because if you put the cloth towards the back, it will actually block the um, cell signal. So your phone will disconnect. pegged all the way over. So the difference is just tremendous in terms of what this does. So that, that kind of give you, it gives you at least a, an idea of what happens when you have a phone in close proximity with a cell phone. And as, as it transmits, and now cell phones transmit both voice and data, all this stuff goes into your body. These are relatively expensive. I think these run about $5 a piece. This cloth runs about $2 a square foot. So you can uh, buy it. I'll put the link where you can get it from. I don't get any money from, the, uh, from this uh, RF shield and I get no money from the cloth, but it just makes a big difference. Now the, the difference between this, this is much easier because all you have to do is peel it off and uh, basically paste it on the inside of your pants the inside of your pocket. What I do, I carry my cell phone always in my left pocket. So in the left pocket of all of my pants, I have this shield or the cloth sewn in. The advantage of the cloth, the cloth is, is, is actually, it's more durable and you can cover the entire pocket. Sometimes with this, you have to leave a little bit of the pocket uncovered, but it will basically, um, it'll cover the cell phone, but you have to leave a little bit of the pocket un uncovered and if it, if it slides it could get there whereas with the with the cloth you can sew it in and cover the entire pocket but this is this is much easier so i hope this helps i'm really concerned about health i'm in my 60s so i want to take real good care of myself these are all of the products that i that i take um, joints and skin for my skin um, the cleaner when I want to do a detox. Heart Miracle helps me with my cholesterol and blood pressure. This is our years plus for men uh, and male drive. Won't talk about that, but these are the these are the products that uh, really do a lot for me. But even with all of those products, if you 
have cell phone radiation flooding your body, it's, it's just better to have these simple, inexpensive items to just protect you from cell phone radiation. They really do block the radiation that kind of goes in as long as you have that cell phone near your body. Now, this is the uh, iPhone 6 Plus, just to let you uh, kind of see the difference in that. And again, it is uh, phone call is active. And as you can see, as you move closer, that's why the phone getting closer to your body makes a huge difference. But if you carry this, now this needle is pegged all the way over to the right in the red zone. I'm going to hold it at that same distance and put the shield there. Total zero. Now, the advantage of the cloth is that you can cover your entire pocket. This, six, uh, this iPhone 6 Plus is almost a full width of that. All the way over, you put the shield there, nothing. So this is the difference of actually what flows into your body. And whether it's harmful or not, and I do believe it is, it's just not worth the risk for you to spend a few dollars for every one of your pants and put this in, or women can put, um, they can put wherever they carry it. Now you can't put this against the, against the back of the phone. It has to go against the front of the phone. If you put it against the back, it actually blocks, blocks the signal. And the back was facing the uh, meter. When, you, when the front faces the meter, it's not quite as strong, but it's still pegging that meter over about 80 or 90%. And when you put the shield there, nothing. So this is, this is what happens, and this is the difference with what these uh, radiation shields can make. They're really not, well, I guess electromagnetic radiation is radiation, whether it's radio waves or anything. So you see it um, totally blocks it. So either one you want to use is fine, but you need to use something. You don't want to have this radiation pouring into your body by putting this into your pocket. And all of that radiation is now hitting your body. For the men, it's hitting the testicles, which is causing DNA damage on your sperm or prostate sensitivity or other stuff in women, uh, ovaries and all of that. So you just don't want that pouring into your body. There's nothing you can do about it holding it up to your head. Now, I want to I show you another something that, uh, that you might want to be interested in because people want to know, what about Bluetooth? So this is a Bluetooth. It's a Motorola. Uh, H19 TX2. The Bluetooth is now active. I can hear myself talking. Now I'm going to put the Bluetooth here and the, the meter is not moving at all. Bluetooth RF signal is so much lower than a cell phone. So people are worried about Bluetooth and maybe it is causing damage because it stays in your ear all day long, but the meter is just not it's not even registering with it directly against the meter. So the Bluetooth is just almost no power compared to the radiation or the RF frequency that comes out of a cell phone. So that, that may want to help you answer the question, well, what about my Bluetooth? And it may, be, it may be damaging, but at least it is nowhere close to what a, I can hear myself now uh, echoing from the phone. That's the I, uh, iPhone. Uh, 6 Plus. This is my phone, the Motorola Turbo. And when you put it there, well, Turbo's doing pretty good right now. Much better than the iPhone, must admit that. That's only up about halfway. So, <laughs> not bad. But again, well, now it's up full. So, it depends. And now it's pegging it full. So, it, it depends. But um, the phone varies. It kind of cycles a lot of power, a little bit of power, but it's going in your body a lot. You don't want that. Get one of these. Protect yourself. The cameraman, after seeing this demonstration, he asked me, he said, do they have phone cases with this stuff in the cases? Actually, they do. They do make pouches and one side of the pouch is lined with this RF shielding material. So one side of the pouch is lined with an RF shield. Now what you have to remember when you use a pouch that has the lining, you have to remember that you only put the screen 
facing the lining that's the RF shield. You always want to make sure the back of the phone is not, does not have a RF shield on it because if the back of the phone has an RF shield, it will block the transmission and most likely cut your call off. I have uh, taken a, a large swath of this fabric and just wrapped my phone in it and it just cut the call off because no signal gets out at all. The, the antenna is on the back of the phone. So you want to make sure that if you do get a pouch that you put the side that has the RF shielding fabric towards the screen, not towards the back. Same way with when you, when you put the shield inside of your pants pocket, you always want to make sure the screen portion faces you and the back faces out. But yes, they do make phone cases or actually pouches that do have this uh, fabric, this type of fabric that will block it and you can therefore just put the whole pouch in your pocket if you want to or in your purse or whatever and make sure the screen and the RF shielding fabric should be between your body and the screen. Thank you.